Hey everyone, welcome back to Better Biomed. Today I want to talk to you guys about cables. And this is a trend that I've seen for a long time, is the quality of cables that are available on the open market and where should you find the right cable for the job. And uh, this stems from me trying to set up, you know, video games and an audio video system and whatnot. And, you know, when you go to the big box stores, this is the traditional type of cable that you will find. You'll find these ones everywhere. It's the same stupid cables that we have technically had for the last 20 to 30 years. You guys know what I'm talking about. The gauge of the material, everything, PVC, it's the same type of cables constantly. And it's it's for everything. It's That's for uh, RCAs. Like here is a 3.5 millimeter. You guys have seen it's a standard type of connector that we've had since the 1990s. They haven't really put very much effort into upgrading the cables or providing something better. And I'm talking almost every technology store. You got, well, what used to be Radio Shack. There are, there are some electronic stores kind of like that. They sell, they sell the same type of cables. Walmart, same type of cables. Best Buy, same type of cables. Almost the exact same ones at every single store. You know how it works with some of these Chinese products. They're, you know, manufactured by one company and sold under different brands. It seems like that is what has been happening. Now you can go to Best Buy and they will absolutely rip you off for the wrong cable for the right job. And if you want premium features in a cable, it's going to cost you magnitudes higher than if you were to go to Amazon. All right, guys. I have championed Amazon many, many times, and this is one of the reasons why, is because the selection, the quality of the products that I'm finding on there, and the fact that it's the right cable for the right job, and it's just much higher quality than the ones that you're finding in the big box stores. You think the big box stores would, let's say, even buy stuff from Amazon and rebrand it or something, right? Because if, if you're selling a cable like this for $9, why is it I can get a cable like this for $9? Let's take a look. Okay, guys, this is my makeshift uh, studio at the moment, but you guys will get the drift. These are the type of cables that I find everywhere. It's the same thing. You guys know what I'm talking about. Take a look. It's the PVC jacket. They all get all wound up around each other. They get tangled. You know, uh, the PVC, it, it always feels cheap. The connectors, they work. But it's not the same. It's not the same as a premium quality product. And you can find cables like this off Amazon. See, I wanted to hook up a subwoofer. And well, unfortunately, I had to switch a different subwoofer because that, that Bose soundbar there, it even though it's got a 3.5 millimeter jack, I bought off of Facebook Marketplace a very beautiful, gigantic, like 12 inch subwoofer. And come to find out, that 3.5 millimeter jack on that Bose system will only work with 3.5 millimeter to a Bose stereo. The only reason I would think that is because it's not an analog signal. It must be a digital signal, something that Bose would do. But anyway, so that led me to getting rid of that subwoofer into which I'm placing it in the other room. And I had to go out and get the crazy expensive Bose subwoofer, which is wireless and it's digital. Ah, so frustrating. But in order to first hook up the first subwoofer, which I'm gonna do in the other room, I need to get a RCA to 3.5 millimeter. And take a look at this cable. This is, uh, this is what, a 20 foot cable. Look at that, 20 foot cable. Now, um, the quality of this cable, it's a braided cable. Automatically tangles way less than all of these, all right? I have quality gold plated 3.5 millimeter and notice the diameter. This is really important is the diameter of the connectors is minimal. You see that? Because the larger the diameter, the, the proximity to other connectors, it can be impeded. So you got this tiny little 3.5 millimeter versus one that is bigger. You see that? And it's gaudier, right? We're, we're in the new century. But you can go on Amazon, you can get better quality cables for the length that you need instead of dealing with the traditional six foot long cable or three foot long cable or the 18 foot long cable at like Best Buy is like $200. I bought this one, I think it was like 12 bucks. It, I mean, $12 with tax, you know, it was like 10 bucks. 
That's a quality cable. Look at those connectors. The game has changed, guys. So, I just want you guys to think, before you go to the big box store and you get a, a cable for a project, consider online. Now, this being a braided cable, I would not suggest that this cable be in a traditional medical environment where it's around bodily fluids, for obvious reasons. However, for an audio and video rack, this is the type of cable I would get, hands down. These cables right here, there's no shielding on them whatsoever, PVC jackets, they just, they're horrible, absolutely horrible. They get tangled up really easily. Do a professional job, get better cables, and there's so many options on Amazon, guys. Check Amazon first. I had it next morning, why not? My project was put off for just a few hours. Go figure. Anyway, guys, that's my little, my little rant on cables. Go out there, get the right cable. Check out Amazon. Thanks for watching, guys.